Now, one thing that I want to do is I want to pull my jacket out, right? Because I don't want the jacket to be the casualty of this entire look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here and I'm going to say, hey, give me a layer mixer. Okay. And what that does is that in here, what I can do is I can just click on this guy qualifier so I can qualify it. And then I'm just going to brush through here and I'm going to hit shift H and look, it does a great job pulling this out. And now let's just D add a little bit of denoise, something like that. We don't need to do it anymore. And now if I turn this on and off, we see that it's pulling it out quite a bit. Now let's just, you know, make it a bit more film like, right? Like, I mean, it's, we don't want it to be realistic. If it's realistic, it's boring. So let's just give it some pizzazz. So what I want to do is I'm going to go into my gamma or let's just do my offset. And I want to put that there's more, I want to put more yellow in there. And then what I want to do is I want to go into my contrast. And I just want to give it some juice, right? But I want to give it juice by adding editable splines. I'm going to click right here and I want to raise it a little bit, right? Not too much. I still want it to kind of blend in. And instead of adding saturation to saturate it, I'm going to use my offset to keep adding more color. And you'll see what I mean. And maybe somewhere around here. So I'm going to keep it somewhere around here. So look at how easily we were able to pull that out, give it so much color. And guys, look at this node tree. Is this the simplest thing you've ever seen or what? And we're done because again, skin, we want to blend it in to that world. Okay. This is horror and we want to take the life out of the skin and the environment. So I want to leave everything as is. And now if I just play it through, we were able to create that literally in minutes. Like I said, why did I create the first node? The first node is there for noise reduction. If you want to add it, go for it. You know, you can add grain too, but those are going to be extracurricular. If you just want to get going and resolve and just wow your Premiere Pro and Final Cut 10 friends, then you got it. And guys, if you're enjoying the content, then I highly encourage you to check out this training. It will answer any question that you may have as a beginner colorist and then some. It also comes with tons of freebies, practice footage, power grades, and LUTs. Link is going to be in the description. And on that note, I will see you guys in the next video.